Uh, welcome today. You want to look at this question? You are provided with the following solutions. M1 containing 95 grams of a mixture of sodium carbonate and the sodium chloride per liter of solution. Then M2, M2 uh, which is one mora HCl. So this is one capital M H C L. What are you required to do? You are required to determine the percentage of sodium chloride in the mixture. So you see now this one is sodium carbonate mixed with sodium chloride. Now sodium chloride is an impurity. So we want to calculate the percentage of sodium chloride in the mixture. That is our target. Remember, HCl is going to react with the carbonate and not with sodium chloride. So let us see the procedure. Pipette 25 centimeters cube of one of M1 and titrate with M2 from a burette using three to four drops of methyl orange indicator. Stop titrating when a permanent pink color appears. <coughs> now M is going to be in the burette. Therefore, our average is going to be that of M. And what is M? HCl. So that is something used. M2 is HCl. So you should always remember that M2 is HCl. So HCl is going to be in the burette. So let me give you the, the values. We are going to use uh, 30.3. Uh, our initial is 0, 0.0 and then we will subtract that is 30.3 the next one I will give you 30.4 0, 0, 0 30.4 uh, 30.3 0.0 and then 30.3 so let us calculate the average, determine the average volume of M2 used. So average M2 used, you always remember this is HCl. So we are looking for the average volume of HCl. Average is 30.3 plus 30.4 plus 30.3, you divide it by 3, which will give you 30.33 centimeters cube let us look at the next question determine the number of moles of m2 used determine the number of m2 used m2 always remember is h cl but now you go back HCl which is M2 was one mora meaning that one mora means that the number one mole means uh, this is the number of moles in a thousand centimeters cube so it means that one capital M implies this that it is one number of moles one mole which is equal to 1000 centimeters cube. 1 m, that is 1 mora. 1 mora, what is a molar solution? A, a solution that is prepared in 1 liter. <coughs> so that is a 1 liter is 1000 centimeters cube. So if 1 mole is equal to 1000 centimeters, what will be the number of moles of the HCI we used? 30.33 centimeters cube would be what are this and this is divided by this which will give you 0 0.03 moles <coughs> write down an ionic equation for the substance that reacted an ionic equation so we can write the full equation first and then we write ionic equation what is reacting it is a sodium carbonate reacting with hcl 
to form sodium chloride plus carbon 4 plus water you need to balance the equation like that so that is the chemical equation but the equation is asking us to write an ionic equation so ionic from here because you can see sodium hydroxide and this one uh, no, sodium here and sodium here are spectator ions so we are they are going to cancel out so here we have CO3 2 minus plus this chloride here and this one is going to cancel out because it is a spectator ions also so we are going to have 2 H positive <coughs> Remember, this is an aqueous AQ. Uh, this one is uh, also a solution aqueous. So it is going to form CO2, which is a gas, and this is low water aqueous. Remember, gases, water, we don't write ionic for them. We just leave the way they are. So we have CO2, which is a gas, plus water liquid and this is the ionic equi equation for the reaction that took place determine the number of moles of the base used remember the base is carbon 4 yeah no the carbonate the carbonate is the base uh, hcl is the acid so this is a neutralization reaction anyway so we are asking to determine the number of moles of the base used so we want to calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate but we already know the number of moles of HCl that reacted. Number of moles of HCl was 0 0.03. But the ratio you can see is 1 to 2. So the base acid, the ratio is 1 to 2. But we know the number of moles of this, which is 0 0.03. So the moles of the base is going to be a half the moles of the the moles of the base is going to be a half the moles of the acid. So we will ask if 2 is equal to 3, what about 1? So the answer is going to be 0 0.03 divided by 2. And that is the number of moles of the base, which is equal to 0 0.0152 moles. We use what we call the mole ratio. Mole ratio. So the mole ratio in this equation is 1 to 2. If 2 is equal to 0 0.03, what about 1? E. Let us look at what Calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate. We want to calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate. But remember sodium carbonate, we pipetted 25 centimeters cube. So the number of moles we got here, this number of moles of sodium carbonate here, this one, is in a 25 centimeters cube. So concentration is, is at in, a, in, a, in one liter. So we will ask if 25 is this one, what about one liter? So we will say, 25 centimeters cube of sodium carbonate has got how many moles? 0 0.0152 moles. Concentration, that is moles in one liter. What about a thousand? A thousand centimeters cube of sodium carbonate. Would it be what? A moles. So it is a thousand times zero point zero one five two divided by twenty five, which will give you zero point six zero seven capital M. Capital M stands for morality. Or you can write this one as zero point six zero seven moles per liter. Moles but dm cube even dm cube dm cube that is small in one liter number party f 
determine the mass of sodium carbonate in one liter. Determine the mass in one liter. Determine the mass. Ah, uh, here. Let me get us. So we have this one. Morality. Mass in grams per liter because we may be calculate the mass in grams per liter so we will calculate mass per grams using rfm so we will get the rfm of sodium carbonate we have the morality so mass in grams per liter is very easy to get all right so mass in grams per liter of sodium carbonate will be given by morality Morality times RFM times RFM. Now morality we have it here, which is zero point six zero seven times RFM of sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is this one, which will give you one oh six. Forty three plus twelve plus uh, forty eight will give you one oh six. Ah, uh, that is times one oh six, which will give us. 64.3 grams per liter so this is the mass in grams per liter for only sodium carbonate but remember the mixture of sodium carbonate the mixture of sodium carbonate plus the gross sodium chloride the total mass in grams per liter was 95 the total mixture now but now since we have only for sodium carbonate, we can subtract and get the mass in grams per liter for sodium chloride only. So determine the percentage sodium chloride. So we know total mass in grams per liter of the mixture equal to 90. 95 so 95 minus 64.3 we will get the mass of sodium chloride so mass of sodium chloride equal to 95 minus 64.3 which is equal to uh, which is equal to 30.7 grams per liter but we are asking to calculate the percentage. How do you calculate the percentage of sodium chloride? So we will have the mass of sodium chloride divided by total mass times 100. And we will get the percentage. So that is now 30 point. That is 30.7 divided by the total mass which is 95 times 100 and this one will give us 32.3 percent so that is the end of our lesson today i kindly want to ask you to subscribe share to your friends share this love Thank you and be blessed a lot.